hi friends in today's video i will show you how to crochet this beautiful baby purse so let's get into the video so i am using a 1.75 millimeter steel crochet and a three ply crystal yarn for this project so first of all make a slip knot then with the help of crochet hook we will start making chains make chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 chain 6 chain 7 chain 8 chain 9 and then chain 10 in this way make total of 100 chains so I have made 100 chains now take the right side of chain upward make sure you don't have any twist in this chain and then make a slip knot in the very first chain for the first round make chain 1 and then make a single crochet into the same chain then go into the second chain make a single crochet stitch into it then go into the third one make a single crochet into the fourth one make a single crochet then into the fifth chain make a single crochet stitch then into the sixth one make a single crochet stitch single crochet into the seventh one and in this way we will make single crochet stitches in each of these chains till the end so i have made all single crochet stitches now in the end make a slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch and now we would start our second round make chain 1 and now we would work into the back loops of each stitch only here is our back loop so in this very first single crochet stitch we would work into the back loops so make a single crochet into the back loop of every stitch only so go into the back loop only and draw a loop pull the yarn through these two loops to make a back loop single crochet stitch by working into the back loop a line would be produced as you can see by working in the back loop the front loop line is showing on the front side of project so work into the back loop and complete this second round as well second round is completed now make a slip stitch into the very first stitch now we would start our working make two chains wrap the yarn around the crochet hook go into the front side of this single crochet stitch to the back side and then to the front side again like this and then draw a loop pull the yarn through two loops and then through other two loops to make a front post double crochet stitch now wrap the yarn again go from the back side of this next single crochet stitch to the front side and then to the back side again like this and draw a loop pull the yarn through two loops 
and then through other two loops this is called back post double crochet stitch now into the next third single crochet stitch go from front to back and then back to front again and draw a loop pull the yarn through two loops and then through other two loops a simple regular double crochet stitch this is called front post double crochet stitch now in the next stitch go from back to front and then to the back of the next stitch again and then draw a loop pull the yarn through two and then through other other two to make a back post double crochet stitch so this is pattern of front post and back post double crochet stitches so make a front post double crochet stitch in one stitch and then back post double crochet stitch in another stitch a front post double crochet stitch into the next single crochet stitch and a back post double crochet stitch into the next single crochet stitch so repeat this process of front post and back post double crochet stitch till the end so i have made all stitches here now here is our last stitch so our second last stitch make a back post double crochet stitch in it and then in the last one we would make a front post double crochet stitch now one and two here is the second chain in this second chain make a slip stitch and our first round for the pattern is made now for the next round make two chains and in this front post double crochet stitch we would make a front post double crochet then here is our back post double crochet stitch in this back post double crochet stitch go from the back as we have made in single crochet stitches and make a back post double crochet stitch in it then into the next front post double crochet stitch make a front post double crochet then into the back post double crochet stitch here make a back post double crochet again we have a front post double crochet stitch make a front post double crochet into it then we have a back post double crochet stitch here make a back post double crochet into it then into the front post make a front post double crochet then into the back post make a back post double crochet stitch then into the front post make a front post double crochet and we would just repeat this same process for all of these stitches till the end and we would complete this round and we would complete the length of back with the same process as well So I have completed the length 
of my bag now last two rounds will be again of back post single crochet stitch so go into the make chain one first and then go into the back loop of this front post double crochet stitch and make a single crochet in it then go into the back loop of next back post double crochet stitch make a single crochet then into the front post make a single crochet then into the back post make a single crochet we would work only in the back loops of front post and back post double crochet stitches of previous round and we would complete this single crochet stitch so i have completed all these stitches now make a slip stitch into the very first single crochet stitch make chain one now we would work into the back loops of these single crochet stitches and make a single crochet in each of them so go into the back loop of every stitch only and make single crochets in each of them till the end repeating the same process as we have made in the starting rounds so complete this round as well so i have completed all these stitches now make a slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch of this round now we would make straps for this bag so make chains for this purpose we would make chains according to the length requirement of strap so i have made this long chain now make the back straight and find the other half middle stitch make a slip stitch into it like this and then pull yarn now cut it with the help of cutter and remove the other yarn strand our strap is ready now weave the yarn end as well and we would join these two sides together with the help of needle for this purpose put the wrong side upward and then we would join this button for closure of bag as well so i have joined this side and i have joined button also now what we we'll do we would make a chain hole to attach on this button from the opposite side as well so make chain one, uh, slip stitch first and then we would start making chains from the other side right here here is our button so start from this stitch and then join this yarn sorry after joining this yarn we would make some chains we would see how much chains would be required make chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so make some chains in this way and after skipping one single crochet stitch into the next stitch make a slip stitch pull the yarn a little bit and just see if these chains are enough these chains are less so we would make some more chains so just check out 
if the number of chains are easily reaching the button according to your own yarn width and the size of button because I am using a larger sized button so I would make 20 chains and let's see if 20 chains are just enough or not so these 20 chains are enough so now weave these yarn ends with the help of needle so I have even the yarn ends with the help of needle and our bag is ready this is a very beautiful and sturdy bag for kids so I hope you guys like this tutorial video so give it big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this thank you for watching Bye.